Hi, it's Nana. I'm going to read to you Little Cub, written by Olivier Dunrea. Little Cub. A little cub lived all alone near the forest. He did not like being alone. He did not like the dark nights. There was no one to take care of him. Old Bear lived all alone deep in the forest. He did not like being alone. He did not like the dark nights. There was no one to take care of him. Every morning the little club cub splashed in the stream. He watched the silvery fish swimming around his toes. Humph, said the little cub. I wish I knew how to catch a fish. But there was no one to teach him. Every morning old bear trudged to the stream. He caught a large fish for his breakfast. Humph, said the old bear. I wish I had someone to share this fish with. But there was no one. Every afternoon, the little cub scampered in the meadow and looked for berries. What he most longed for was the sweet honey he could smell in the beehive in the hollow of a tree. But the little cub was afraid of being stung by the bees. His stomach was empty. The little cub was often hungry. Every afternoon, Old Bear ate a big lunch of oat cakes spread thick with honey. After eating his fill, he stretched out in the meadow and took a nap. His stomach was full. Old Bear wasn't often hungry. Every evening, the little cub curled himself into a ball and tried to sleep. He snuffled and whimpered. He did not like to be alone at night. Every evening, Old Bear trudged through the tall grass to his cabin deep in the forest. Old Bear grumbled and grumped. He did not like to be alone all the time. Being alone made him grumbly and grumpy. One day, Old Bear heard a strange noise coming from a pile of rocks. He stopped and listened. Old Bear peered into the rocks and saw a little cub curled into a ball, snuffling and kicking in his sleep. Old Bear leaned over the little cub and sniffed. The little cub opened his eyes and yowled. Stop that yowling, said Old Bear. And the little cub stopped yowling. He stared at the big bear watching him. Who are you? asked the little cub. I'm Old Bear, said Old Bear. Who are you? I'm me, said little cub. Old Bear and the little cub stared hard at each other. Neither of them blinked. Humph, said Old Bear. Humph, said Little Cub. Old Bear picked up the Little Cub. Who do you belong to? asked Old Bear. I belong to me, said the Little Cub. But maybe I could belong to you. Old Bear cradled the Little Cub. The little cub felt safe in the big bear's arms. He yawned loudly. <gasps> I'm going to call you little cub, said old bear. I like that, 
said Little Cub. Old Bear carried Little Cub to his cabin. He gently placed Little Cub in the big bed. He tucked the warm blanket around him. Will you teach me how to fish? asked Little Cub. Yes, I will teach you how to fish. Now go to sleep, said Old Bear. Will you teach me how to get honey? asked Little Cub. Yes, I will teach you how to get honey. Now go to sleep, said Old Bear. But I don't want to get stung by bees, said Little Cub. I won't let you get stung by bees, said Old Bear. Now go to sleep. Old Bear sat beside the bed. Little Cub stared at Old Bear. What now? asked Old Bear. I can't sleep, said Little Cub. Do you want me to tell you a story? asked Old Bear. Yes, I'd like that, said Little Cub. I've never had a story before. Once upon a time, there was a grumpy old bear who lived all alone, deep in the forest, said Old Bear. Little Cub closed his eyes. He fell fast asleep. He was no longer hungry. He was no longer alone. Old Bear sat by Little Cub all night long. Good night, Little Cub, said Old Bear. I'm glad you're here. The end.